The Kickstarter addiction is real. We all know that. Trekking Through History just came out. Got it with the solo mode. Really looking for that uh, Wright Brothers part here, really being an aviation uh, buff, aviation geek. And if you've never been down to uh, Kitty Hawk or uh, Kill Devil Hill, what is that, the uh, Wright Brothers Museum, we can actually walk the line where they had the uh, you know planes uh, come down the uh, track there. Really amazing museum. It's beautiful. It's it's just really inspiring. Um, my wife had been uh, looking to do trekking the national parks, so we'll uh, haven't uh, taken even the full look there. But let's just take a quick look through here for a, a quick non sports, a uh, bit of a sports detour, and see what you know things that I'd like to see for them. Some sports games for sure. And, uh, Philip Schwartzman helped us out uh, telling us about some things like bat flip and bottom of the ninth and uh, baseball highlights 2045. So you got your solo mode rules here. That's the kind of thing I'd really love to see. I've been working on a quick start guide for Apple football. Um, and that's about those sticky little bits, these little sticky folders here. But, you know, a nice uh, set of... Uh, Just a quick text slash icon kind of thing. You know, you really need to think about your um, rule writing for sure. If you remember the old uh, Apple football, the master game book, it's really, it's a nice little catalog, always good. You know, and people are doing full color. They're doing uh, really um, seriously well crafted components perfect now see that's exactly that's a great setup guide now we'll check the into the writing layer later there but uh you know refill history cards and all that good stuff so you know, hopefully there's a little bit of a trivial pursuit kind of aspect to it slash uh control kind of sepia not really yeah, somewhat sepia there your big old dials and cool stuff like that you know the punctuality very nice. <laughs> and here's some more. Here's your, uh, imagine those are your, uh, how many you have here? Well, 24. You're up to 24 of these with uh, different, uh, some different values and whatnot there. We'll get into that. See what we got going there. Oh, that smells pretty interesting, too. Um, smells good, I think. Is that a, yeah, a little bit. Uh, there's your uh, little crystal slash electric looking kind of thing. Nice little, nice little component tray, actually. Pretty cool, pretty cool crystal type of thing. And your smarties. W and some uh, scroll kind of a thing. Sorry for the focus thing. I'm going to be trying to learn this game for a get together on Labor Day. So, sorry there. That's uh, real though. A little silica gel. Always good. Keep things dry. Your, uh, watch components. Whoops. That's why I don't wear an old timey watch. <laughs> It'd be flying all over the place. So very cool, very cool. Oh, look at this. Warning, you're about to enter a time warp. Do not open until you play the basic game at least once. Very nice. Two types of time warps. Awesome, awesome. See, you know, there's so many layers you can do to games. Ooh, this is the... There's the... This is the... Uh, nice, that rubberized back. Beautiful. That's awesome. The museum. It's kind of that movie Time After Time, the um, Mary Steenburgen and Malcolm McDowell movie where uh, uh, Jack the Ripper comes forward in time with H.G. Wells' Time Machine. Awesome movie if you have not seen that. Trekking Through History. That's an intense movie. It was really great. It's like 1979 San Francisco and uh, super, super cool movie. Something like that. And uh, the, the actor who plays Jack the Ripper is absolutely phenomenal. I think he recently passed. Oh my goodness. Practice suffragism. 
suffer suffer jitsu excuse me there you go well uh yeah and uh back just a touch farther leave your handprint at uh this place and uh well let's I'll study relativity with albert einstein all right let's uh decompone it this thing can we uh see what our options are here. A lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. Yeah. It's a brute world, a lot of history. 221, very nice. Kind of my number. So there's just a few things. Magellan. Good deal. Wookie boogie. That's nice. That's nice. See, I mean, these. This is the kind of thing that you know, telling a sports story and doing a game in a narrative form. Take a bite of the first sandwich. Is that the Earl himself, John Montague? Yes, it is. Um, yeah. Imagine a narrative uh, game. There's our guys. That's the one. <laughs> you get the idea. We'll uh, cut it short here, but. Uh, Good old Wright Brothers at Kitty Hawk. It's just a fantastic museum. They got the replica of the plane. The actual Wright Flyer had been at the uh, Air and Space Museum, National Air and Space Museum, which I saw on opening day in 1976. I actually got lost there and had the FBI looking for me as I kind of ran away from my parents on the National Mall. But that's a whole other story. So really cool stuff. I'll, uh... Nice. Hey, look at that. Throw the dice. Well, there's a great one to end on. See? So check it out. Uh, looking forward to it. Looks like it's well um, scripted and uh, has its instructional um, apparatus well crafted. I'm definitely working on a quick start guide for Apple football. It needs to be more visual. Um, so, have a good gaming weekend.